All right, we're about to do my toughest test yet for the Anchor 767 powerhouse. I'm gonna hook it up to the transfer switch and see how many things I can actually run with it. But first, I got my granddaughter McKenna and she is gonna show us how this hooks up to the transfer switch. All right, McKenna, will you show everybody how it works? First, you'll plug this one up to here. So when you got that fully plugged in, you want to plug this in right here. Once you plug everything in, you want to turn it on. All right, so it's up and running and it is plugged up to the transfer switch. And we're about to start switching things over right now. Things I have hooked up to it is two air conditions and a refrigerator. I've never run the two air conditions with the refrigerator at the same time with the power stations. We're going to try it out today with the Anchor 767 to see where we're at. I also have various lights and plugs throughout the house. So we'll walk through and make sure all that's working. So once we got power coming to the uh, transfer switch, of course you gotta get an electrician to hook this up for you, but uh, this is gonna go from, this is the room here, the lights off, lights back on. So we're now running with the Anchor 767 on that one. We're gonna do all four of them across the board. And I know one of them, the house refrigerator is hooked up to. And uh, let's see. So now we got them all up and running. So let's see what kind of watts we're pulling. So we're pulling 259 watts. That's with the refrigerator running. This light that's behind me running. And I have one more light and ceiling fan in another room that's running that's in our office. That's up and running right now as well. So. We're gonna start turning some other things. I wanna see how we go. All right, we're gonna follow McKenna around as you see that ceiling fan's running. Okay, McKenna, let's go turn some things on. Um, first, let's do the air conditioner. So she's gonna turn this big. Go ahead, turn it on. All right, so it's starting to come on. So we have the refrigerator. Now this air And the air conditioner blowing. And then also I have all these lights that you see here, they're all hooked up to it. Uh, McKenna, will you turn those lights on over there? Those lights that's over the, the bar is hooked up to it. All right. Now we're gonna swing over here and will you turn those lights on? That light is hooked up to it. Okay, I'll leave that running. And then let's go try the bathroom light. Kenna, if you would. Okay, so we got light in the bathroom. Let's go see what kind of power we're pulling on the power station. All right, so we're pulling 652. We're gonna give it a minute, make sure that compressor kicks on the, uh, the bigger air condition. Not sure if it's on yet or not, it should be on. Um, but we're gonna give it a couple minutes and then we're gonna try our third window unit, which is gonna be a little smaller BTU, a 5,000 BTU, and we're gonna see what happens there. Like I said, I've never run two air conditions with a refrigerator on any of the power stations we have here, but I'm about to try it out. So the pressure is actually running on the refrigerator right now. So it's pulling a good bit of watts. The pressure actually was running on the window unit in here. So now we're gonna go try the little smaller window unit. So in here we have this lamp and about to be this window unit. And if you'll turn that on McKenna, we'll see how it goes. Moment of truth. Will it do it? It's running. We're going to let that run for a little bit. And let's go check our wattage and see where we at on the power station. The Anchor 767 can put out 2,400 watts. So we should be under that, but let's go make sure. All right, so it's jumped up to 900 a couple times. And I'm going to let these run for a little bit and see how everything's going. We'll let them run for about five to 10 minutes. And, uh, make sure everything's working at that rate it's saying we can run everything for two hours and 20 minutes but of course the compressor on the refrigerator all these compressors aren't going to be running at the same time so at two hours and 20 minutes i don't know if you'd actually get that running two window units with a refrigerator probably not but we still uh right now we're still under that 1000 mark with the watts so if you had a thousand watts coming in because the anchor, you can actually hook up 1,000 watts to the anchor uh, 767 
thousand watts of power uh, solar coming in you still was under that so you would still be charging the battery back up while you're running this uh, but like i said we're gonna let it run for a while and see what's the highest it, it goes up with the watts okay so we're pulling some watts now we got both of the compressors are running on the, the both of the window units we're pulling 1100 watts not sure if the compressor is running on the refrigerator right this second 1200 watts so it's running all three of them um i've only been doing this for five minutes so as you can see the time has done went to one hour and 40 minutes we're gonna let this run i'm gonna let it run another five minutes just to see how things are going so i got the light that is on here i actually turned a couple of the other lights out mckenna if you would I got my assistant we're gonna let her go some turn all those lights back on the ones that we turned out we turn back on the bathroom light and the all the lights in the kitchen so she's going back to turn those lights on we'll see how much power with all the lights on it's going to pull so 12 13 7 all right so now we have all the lights i have hooked up to the uh the transfer switch two window units and a refrigerator hooked up to it and the anchor 767 is powering them now it's over the, the thousand watts so if you had a, a thousand watts coming in you're still gonna have 336 watts being pulled on the on the units but uh you can get you some runtime like that and I, I would not run two air conditions at one time i wouldn't even recommend that i would just run one that's what i normally do is run like at night i'll run the smaller unit in the bedroom also with the refrigerator and that is with an expansion battery this this is without an expansion battery not hooked up to the solar i just wanted to see if i could run everything that i have hooked up to my transfer switch and seems to be doing it with no problems we've been running it like I say, over five minutes now. I'm gonna let it run for another five minutes and then we're gonna stop the video. Got some bonus footage here. All right, go ahead, McKenna, let's see what happens. So we're gonna see if this recliner works. That recliner is actually plugged into an outlet over there that is running on an Anchor 767. Look at there. All right, let me fold it back down now. We get it. So we got all the lights on this side of the house with that window unit over there that chair all working all right so that's been another five minutes so it's probably been between 10 to 15 minutes that everything's been running so to wrap it up we're gonna we got two air conditions running one of them is 8,000 BTU the other one's a 5,000 BTU our home refrigerator whole bunch of lights and then uh we even did the little recliner in there and the highest I've seen it up to is I think like 1470. 1470. Um, so it's averaging, I guess, around 1400 right now with all those running. Didn't have any problems. This thing can put out 2400 watts, so really didn't push it that hard. I was just curious to see what we would do here at the house. If I could uh, run everything that I have hooked up to the uh, transfer switch, we did it with no problem. So, you know, when the power goes out, I'm, we're not needing no more than that. May plug a TV in or something like that, but other than that, that would be about it. It'll also run our microwave. I, di I didn't do it with all these running, but I have run the microwave. Of course, it's gonna run a microwave without any problems. So there, there is my ultimate test with my transfer switch here at the house. Hope you enjoyed the video. As with anything, whether it's the power stations, the solar panels, and we even have that transfer switch, uh, something that you may be wanna interested in, you can look in the comments down below and there's gonna be a link to our webpage. You can get on there and just shop around. This is the Anchor Powerhouse 767 without an expansion battery, without hooked up to the solar. They, there's an expansion battery that can be hooked up to it so you'll double your run time. Uh, as you can see, it was saying, I, I got another hour of running all these things together. You would you'd have another two hours with the uh, additional battery. Plus, if you hooked up to the 1,000 watt solar, because 1,000 watts of solar could come in here, uh, you would only be using about 400 watts instead of the um, 1400 so you, because you had that thousand coming in so it'll give you a lot longer run time all right thanks for taking time out with us and i uh, thank mckenna for her help thank you mckenna 
and we're fixing to turn to turn everything off you just do it in reverse and you've seen we can turn it on so it's not that difficult all right thanks for watching with us and we'll talk to you later